Um, first of all, I feel like many of you are looking for your partner to kind of uh, chip in to kind of help validate, you know, your um, your self-esteem. That's what it feels like. You're looking for love and you're looking for um, more signs of affection from your relationship partner. Um, so for those who are in relationships, I feel like, you know, you're off doing your thing and you have a lot of things on your plate and you might want your partner to kind of step in and, and you know, like um, make things happen. And they themselves have a lot of things that are going on in their lives. And I feel like they, you might feel a little bit neglected. And as a result of it, I feel like you're looking, uh, not so much stepping outside of your relationship, but you're looking for validation elsewhere. So from possibly um, people, you know, other people outside the relationship, you're looking for validation, you're looking for support, or you're looking for that boost of confidence um, that's raining down on you from other people. Um, so that's just the initial message that I was getting. And I feel like that that's okay. But if you need something from your partner, you might want to, you know, um, communicate that rather than seeking um, gratification elsewhere. Okay, so let's just get into your reading. I have here the King of Cups. And this is a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I usually think of this as uh, somebody with children. So you might have children together, they might have children, and you're um, trying to coordinate a lot with this water sign. So um, the energy that I get from this person is, um, you know, as a king, kings are very, very in control of their emotions. So they can be loving, they can be very nurturing. However, if they feel like you've just been um, kind of uh, attention-seeking, they will tell you that. And, you know, their words might hurt a little bit, but in all honesty, they will say whatever's on their mind. For many of you, you might be dealing with a cancer in particular. I have here the chariot. And this is a person, water sign in general, that you're dealing with. Someone who's very, very on track when it comes to their career. They might be a director. They might be um, very busy with work. They are also like in high demand um, where, you know, they, they might have to travel. They might also have to, um, it's like traveling at a last moment's notice where they're not sure where they're going to be uh, next week. So they might not be around when you need that emotional, um, you know, consistency. And it has nothing to do with them. It's just the demands of the work environment. The chariot is a major, major card about achievement. It's about, you know, discipline. It's also about, like, somebody who's um, moving forward with their career and their career advancement and their professional advancement and things like that. And so they might prioritize their work. They might prioritize their career. And as a result of it, um, you might feel kind of like put on the, uh, the back burner. And for this week, if this is something creeping into your relationship, I feel like, you know, as a Taurian person, typical uh, Taurus people do not complain about things. You don't complain about frivolous things. You take a lot of things in and you internalize a lot of things. You don't let it creep out. But I feel like if this is something you need from your partner, you're going to need to, you know, communicate that, okay, because they can't really read your mind. Um, I mentioned with one of the other signs that are also dealing with, you know, water signs. Water signs can be very intuitive and they can be really, really considerate. But a lot of the times they might need, uh, they might not see the big picture. They might not see the big picture. It's not like they're neglectful. It's just like sometimes they have trouble. Like they're, they're so deep in their emotions and they think what they want is also what you want and if that's not the case because you know everybody's different you might need to really communicate what you need versus what they think you need okay so i feel like it's a mismatch when it comes to um emotional expressions emotional needs and they might not be um aware of it so i feel like if you're dealing with this person there's a lot of communication coming through okay eight of wands arrows of love a lot of forward movement, a lot of coordination that's happening with uh, you and this water sign. If you have children, 
children are being shuttled around. So, you know, uh, going back and forth, driving back and forth. Some of you might have a new car and I feel like for whatever reason, you're doing a lot of the legwork and I feel like your partner, they might be so wrapped up in whatever they're doing or even wrapped up in themselves, trying to make things happen in their lives that you're kind of uh, bearing the, the, the responsibilities of the relationship. And they might be so wrapped up in whatever they're doing that they just don't stop and say, thank you for, for, for all that you do. Thank you, thank you for, you know, being available. Thank you for, you know, helping me. They, they might not um, realize that you need that. You need that to keep going. And so I feel almost like the two of you, there's a lot of communication, but the communication is a little bit dry. And the communication might come out in a way where it's... Um, it's it's sort of like very technical logistical information rather than heartfelt communication rather than talking about feelings and love and commitment and you know all the soft fluffy things it's just very trite concrete communication and so there's a lot of text messages there's a lot of coordination phone calls uh, what are we doing at seven? When are the kids supposed to get out of class? Are you picking them up or am I supposed to pick them up? So there's like a, a little, a bit of confusion or just a lot of logistics that needs to be planned between you and this water sign. For some of you, you're planning to take a trip together. You might be getting there first and then, you know, they have to work out the logistics to meet you there. And so I just feel like there's a lot of busy energy uh, when it comes to maintaining this relationship. And then as a result of it, I also feel like there are a lot of people in your relationship. This is the, the, the in-laws type of a card, okay? This is one person with a very um, eccentric personality. And I feel like they're getting a lot of grief from the in-laws, okay? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? So in-laws might be interfering in your relationship. So if you have children and you're dropping them off at, you know, your in-laws, they might be like, why are you dropping them off here again? Why aren't you taking care of them? Or why isn't, you know, your spouse taking care of them? So I feel like there's a lot of just uh, arguments and confusion coming in because there are too many people in the household. There are too many um, strong-minded people. There are too many opinions. And there are just too many things to consider. And then on the flip side of that, if you have children with a water sign and you're no longer together, there's a, you're trying to you know date again and you're dealing with someone, another person who's very very eccentric. They like beat to the um, they 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 walk to the beat of their own drums. They do whatever they want. They're very nonconformist, and they're just very very different, very eccentric. And when I say eccentric. I immediately think of like, you know, the Sagittarius, the Aquarius, and the Geminis. Very, very eccentric people. They don't care what uh, society thinks, and they don't really care what anybody thinks. And so they're just going to be, you know, their, their weird self. And I feel like that somehow does it for you, because you yourself, you're very, very conformist. And so if somebody, like, it, it's almost like you're, 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 you're aware of how you come across and you're aware of social expectations. You're very aware of it. And so if somebody is not that way, it, it makes you feel they can, you know, it's like an opposites attract thing, but I also feel like you kind of admire the fact that they have a devil may care attitude and they do whatever they want without conforming to social pressure. So this is greatly a card about conforming conforming to what other people expect of you versus, you know, doing your own thing. And so I feel as if you might be in conflict here with a relationship partner and you guys are kind of working at cross purposes with each other. Those seahorses, they're moving in different directions. It means like, you know, it, it takes a lot of strength to get the chariot moving in the right direction, in, in one uh, clear, concise direction. And two people are just like, missing each other or not able to cross paths or not able to agree or not able to see eye to eye. So you and this water sign might not be able to see eye to eye. You might not agree on the really fundamental things to make a relationship solid or stable. 
if you're dating them, you might have very, very many uh, ideological differences and you might have, you know, different expectations for one another. And what we have as well is the Ace of Coins. And this is like a new start. This is uh, you moving on and taking on, like making an offer or giving an offer to somebody else. And also basking in the attention, the gifts, and the positive reception that you're getting from another person. So like I said before, you might be in a relationship where there's a lot of conflict or you feel a little bit unappreciated by your partner or underappreciated by your partner. And yet someone else is giving you a lot more attention, is giving you a lot more praise. And I keep hearing the words like, I appreciate everything that you do. You know, I really appreciate you for being you, and I appreciate everything that you do. And that makes you feel really good as an earth sign, right? Earth signs are really helpful. They like to solve problems, and they like to help people. And so if somebody can validate that for you, it makes you feel really good, whereas I feel like somebody here is taking all of it for granted. Not because they mean to, but it seems almost like they feel, I do it too, and then now that you have to do it, you complain. So I, I get that energy about, you know, both parties have had to do it. One person needs to step up when the other person's feeling down. And so now that you have to do it, they're like, why are you complaining? But the point is, when we are in a relationship, we can't really keep scores with each other. We do whatever is necessary, right? But there's also that balance of give and take. And I feel like what you're really looking for is appreciation, validation for all your efforts, for all your hard work, for everything that you put in. Even if everything is done behind the scenes, even if like you, the, the visible, tangible results are not there, you still need that validation. And I feel for many of you, the home front is a little bit problematic or the relationship front is a little bit problematic. And as a result of it, you're kind of like seeking attention elsewhere. So I asked the cards to clarify who is showering this love and this affection on you or this appreciation on you. And I have here air signs. So I have the page of swords as well as the knight of swords. So this kind of is a big, big confirmation. So I have Aquarius, Gemini or Libra that is in your mist. And this is somebody that could potentially be a lot younger than you. They have like a very uh, swift, swift movement. So it's somebody that talks fast. They move really fast. They work really fast. They get things done really fast. They're not, you know, emotional. But when they do tell you, hey, I, I really appreciate what you did. They're very observant. So they see everything. And that's why, you know, their, their, their mind is like a mile a minute and they see everything, they catch everything, they um, internalize every nuance. And I feel like they, they're so swift at picking up like nonverbal cues too, that it kind of caught you off guard when they come in and they're like, do you need help? I can help you with that. You seem like you're struggling. Can I help you with that? And the way that they say things, the way that they communicate is not like, um, you know, lovey-dovey like they, they might say rather than hey you seem really tired today is there anything I can help you with so that you know you're not exerting so much uh, time and effort what they'll say is your eyes are really puffy and and you have a lot of dark circles under your eyes you you don't get enough sleep let me help you with something so like the way that they talk is a little bit I want to say abrasive, but I feel like they state the obvious, right? They, they, they don't have like a filter. And <laughs> this is what I mean by, you know, someone who's very eccentric. They don't care. They don't care what people expect from them. They don't care what people think. They're good, just going to be their weird self. And they're just going to state the obvious. They're just going to be very un-PC, like unpolitically correct, because they don't care. And so I feel like you find this very refreshing. Okay, you find this very refreshing. And I feel like for many of you, you have a really dry sense of humor. And so you, you like this type of energy. So you have this air sign, um, possibly younger, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. 
someone who like does things rather than talk about things someone who 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 takes action and i feel like you really appreciate this energy and this energy is also very different from you so it comes in and i feel like it can really help you troubleshoot it can really clear up a lot of uh mental fog for you and you're getting a lot of appreciation and just a lot of affection uh in their weird way you know um kind of raining down on you and I feel like it makes you feel really good. Um, for those of you in relationships, I feel like this is a distraction for you here. This is like a temptation, a distraction. So be careful with this energy, okay? But um, for those who are single, you might be dating somebody who's very, very unconventional and your friends are like, why are you dating that person? Your family as well could be like, you know, they're of a different race, they're of a different religion, they're of a different culture, why are you bringing them home? So I see this um, concept here about, you know, opposites attract, and you're interested in somebody that your friends or your family might uh, kind of, not that they're disapproving, where they're like, you need to break off with that person, but they're kind of like, why are you with that person? It's like it's catching them off guard because, you know, throughout your life you've been doing things the conventional way and you don't want to do that anymore. So I feel like you're bringing somebody home or you're meeting, introducing them to your parents or introducing them to your friends and, and, and bringing them into the fold. And it's it's a different type of person than, you know, the, the ones you have dated in the past. So people are like questioning your judgment. And I'm seeing as well, they're asking you, like, are you having a midlife crisis? Are you doing these things because you're bored or because, you know, something else internally is going on with you? So I feel like they don't understand. But you love who you love. It doesn't matter. Um, moving on to the other areas of your life, I have here the Ace of Pentacles. And what's funny is the Ace of Pentacles showed up twice. So we have here, uh, you're making an offer to somebody and they are completely, completely clueless, okay? So you could be uh, offering somebody, hey, you want to meet up? You want to go on a date? You want to, you know, um, get involved with me? Get involved with me is, is like the, the word I'm hearing, involved, like get involved with me, whatever that means, okay? And they're just like clueless, clueless, clueless. Um, and then I'm also seeing there's an offer that's made on the table, a promotion, a job. Uh, somebody might be telling you, hey, do you want to partner up? And I feel like, you know, law profession, um, people that might be in a law firm, especially with this justice card. And I feel like you're not really sure if the additional responsibilities is worth the additional pay increase. So you're kind of stuck when it seems, uh, for what seems to me like, yes, it's a salary increase, but is it, you know, worth the, 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 the hassle? Because there's a lot of responsibilities. Some of you might not be ready for it because you feel like, I haven't really mastered everything that I've done here. So I'm not sure if I'm able to take up on this new opportunity because I feel like it might, you feel like it might trap you into a contract. You feel like it might trap you geographically. Or you feel like you're not ready just yet. You need more information. Mull it over. Sleep on it. I feel like it's a really good opportunity. Okay? And I feel like there's an opportunity as well that is coming from far away. So if you're staying here in your geographical location and the offer... Page of Wands is usually, you know, long distance type of news communication. It's usually very exciting and very fun. But the advice for you guys is, you know, don't jump the gun. Take a moment to mold this over. Ask them questions and, and just be sure that you have all the information you need before you can make uh, in, you know, an informed decision. And I don't have to worry about that with you, but I feel like you or somebody else that you're dealing with might be somebody that you're connected to or somebody that you care about might be smitten or like um, the word is, you know, starry eyed when it comes to this new news or this new offer or this new opportunity. 
and they might be jumping the gun. Okay, so just make sure you have all the information. So the other card that came out at the beginning here is the Justice card. And the Justice card is fairness. Um, it deals with reciprocity. It deals with looking at a situation very objectively and trying to weed out information that's not necessary from the information that is pertinent. I feel like for many of you, there's a lot of activity, a lot of communication, a lot of um, things being said this week where you are going to need to play this role and be very discerning, be very objective, rather than jumping the gun, okay? And I feel like it's coming in at work. It's coming in as job offers. It's also coming in as well with family members where you are going to need to be fair when it comes to discipline, when you it, it comes to making judgment about somebody or rewarding somebody for their good behavior, all right? So I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, Taurus. It's a really, really good week, very dynamic. And uh, you have great opportunities, two aces falling out in two different decks. So I feel like you have something major, something new, something solid in your life. And I feel like, you know, many of you are making an offer to another person and because you want them to be a part of your life. Um, it can also indicate to me as well, like... Um, I'm seeing here, you know, talks about children as well, okay? 